Every Rotary project anywhere in the world always started out with one person who had an idea. And then they were able to grow and develop that idea by getting other Rotarians engaged and using that powerful network of Rotary to really change the world. I want to make a difference and I see Rotary as being the best vehicle worldwide to be able to make a difference to the community as a citizen of the world. It's always a blessing to give back what you have received. Rotary is just a sweet place to be. The fellowship, the ability to serve, it's not about how old you are or how much you have. We don't have to be Prime Minister to lead our country. Even one Rotarian can do lots of things. People want to feel involved and that's how they feel that they are actually contributing and giving something back to, to the society. Every Rotarian's needs are different. And if we don't know what their needs are, and how are we gonna fulfill them? Right after someone gets in Rotary, you have to start fostering the opportunity for them to take a leadership role, whether they choose to or whether the club chooses them to. You know, leader is a role model of everybody. If you've got the heart, you're gonna take your club forward in some fashion, and, and that's what it's really all about, all of us working together. Teaching, leading, and then transferring the responsibility of what we are doing to them. The rewards are huge. The satisfaction's enormous. You know, I'm very proud to be a Rotarian. One of the things we need to keep doing is finding innovative ways to bring people into our clubs, engage them, and keep them involved in our projects and our activities. One of the main ways we try to keep the members um, sort of uh, involved with Rotary is actually giving them uh, active roles in projects and responsibilities. Before we became officers, we decided that we would have a retreat. So we took a, a weekend retreat with all the board officers and said, where do we really want to go with Rotary? What kind of club do we want to be? And uh, we formulated goals such as our membership goals and our fundraising goals. And then we took all that back to the club and uh, had several meetings uh, trying to get buy-in. The best thing way to move the club you know, in a good way is that uh, have some programs, have some club projects, you know. Just don't be limited in the meetings, you know. Every project we work together, we meet together, and uh, we share the responsibilities together. Share is the best thing uh, to have a run the club, I think. If a person is committed to something and they pursue what they are committed to, the leadership, I think, will just come through. For each of us, there are moments that define us. Moments where we fought for what we believe. The moment Berliners have waited 28 years for. When we push the boundaries to the unknown. Moments that remind us of a past we cannot accept. And that create within us the desire to take a stand and do something. 30 years ago, Polio was claiming the lives of hundreds of thousands of children, just like me. There was a vaccine that could help stop it, but it wasn't reaching all of us. Until you decided to step in and do something. You decided to find a way to reach us all, no matter where in the world we might be. It all started with one small project and six million children were saved from polio, forever. The world took notice, and things began to change. On streets, on trains, planes, boats, and bicycles, over deserts and rivers, 
mountains and valleys, through jungles and war zones, you never stop. But it can't end here. We are this close, the closest that we've ever been. Three countries remain, and we must continue to strive to reach every last child. Because every life truly does matter. And together, you have proved that when you put service above self, the world can be a much better place. Since 1985, Rotary has been the foundation on which the polio eradication program is built. Last year, we saw just 37 cases, the lowest number in history. Thanks to your efforts, more than 16 million people are walking today who would otherwise have been paralyzed. Thanks to your vision, humanity is on the verge of one of the greatest public health achievements in history. While our work is not yet done, the remarkable dream that you had three decades ago to tackle one of the world's greatest public health challenges, the end of polio, is nearly a reality. Thanks to you, we truly are this close to ending polio. Thanks to you, we are truly this close to ending polio. Yeah.